Warren Buffett once said, risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. Wise words from a man who, through his keen understanding of the market, has become one of the wealthiest individuals on the planet. Born in Omaha, Nebraska, Buffett's investment philosophy focuses on purchasing shares in companies for less than their intrinsic value. His knack for spotting undervalued businesses has earned him the title Oracle of Omaha. On the other hand, we have Peter Lynch, another titan of investment. Lynch hails from Boston, Massachusetts, and his investment philosophy is quite different from Buffett's. He believes in investing in what you know, encouraging individuals to buy shares in companies within their areas of expertise. His tenure as the manager of the Fidelity Magellan Fund saw it grow to be one of the most successful in history. Despite their different approaches, both have achieved extraordinary success in the world of investment. Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, is a value investor at heart. His wisdom and acumen, honed over decades in the market, have propelled him to a level of success few investors can match. Buffett's approach is straightforward yet powerful. He focuses on the long term, preferring to buy and hold rather than chase quick profits. This perspective allows him to weather market volatility and benefit from the natural growth of businesses over time. It's not just about patience, though. Buffett's strategy is deeply rooted in value, seeking out companies that are undervalued by the market but have strong fundamentals. This strategy requires a deep understanding of each company he invests in. Buffett famously said, never invest in a business you cannot understand. He spends ample time studying a company's operations, leadership, financial health, and competitive landscape before deciding to invest. He isn't swayed by market trends or flashy new startups. Instead, he looks for proven businesses that consistently generate profits and have a competitive advantage. But let's not just talk about his approach in the abstract. Let's look at how it has played out in his investments. Coca-Cola is one of Buffett's most successful investments. He invested in the company in the late 80s when it was undervalued. He saw the potential in its strong brand and worldwide distribution network. Fast forward to today, and his original investment has multiplied many times over. Then there's his investment in American Express. When the company was facing a financial crisis in the 60s, many investors jumped ship. But Buffett saw an undervalued company with a strong brand and loyal customer base. He bought shares at a low price, and once again, his patience and understanding paid off. Buffett's approach shows that patience and a deep understanding of a company can lead to substantial rewards. His strategy isn't for those looking for a quick buck. It's for those who are willing to dig deep, understand a business, and wait for their investments to grow. It's a testament to the power of long-term, value-based investing. Before we delve into the investment philosophy of Peter Lynch, let's take a brief pause. If you're enjoying this video and finding our content valuable, don't forget to show your support. How can you do that? It's simple. Start by hitting the like button below this video. This helps us know that our content is resonating with you. Next, if you have friends who are interested in investing, consider sharing this video with them. You never know, it might spark an insightful discussion or even influence their investing strategy. And finally, if you want to stay updated with our latest content on investing, be sure to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll get notified every time we post a new video. So, like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and let's continue our journey into the fascinating world of investing. Up next, we'll delve into the unique investment philosophy of Peter Lynch. Peter Lynch, on the other hand, believes, invest in what you know. This mantra, simple at its core, has proven to be a powerful guiding principle in Lynch's investment philosophy. Lynch's strategy revolves around the concept of investing in companies that he understands and uses in his everyday life. It's not about chasing after the latest tech startup or jumping on the bandwagon of a trending stock. Rather, it's about identifying value in the familiar, the everyday, and the overlooked. This approach enables him to spot opportunities that others might miss simply because they're not looking in the right places. Take, for example, the retail sector. While many investors might shy away from it due to its volatile nature, Lynch sees potential. He understands the industry because he interacts with it daily. 
He knows what makes a store appealing, what products sell, and which ones don't. This intimate knowledge allows him to make informed decisions about which retail companies are likely to succeed. One of Lynch's most successful investments was in the car rental company, Hertz. He didn't invest because of a hot tip or a promising earnings report. He invested because he was a satisfied customer. He knew firsthand the convenience and efficiency of their service. This personal experience, coupled with his understanding of the car rental industry, that gave him the confidence to invest. Another example is Dunkin' Donuts. Lynch, a confessed donut lover, saw potential in the company because he appreciated their product. He understood the appeal of a simple tasty donut and a good cup of coffee. His investment in Dunkin' Donuts was not just a financial decision, but a testament to his belief in the product. By investing in what he knows and understands, Lynch is able to reduce the risks associated with investing. He's not gambling on the unknown, but placing calculated bets based on his own experiences and knowledge. Lynch's strategy underscores the value of investing in what you know and understand. It's not about having a crystal ball to predict the future of the market, but about having a clear understanding of the present and making informed decisions based on that knowledge. While Buffett and Lynch have different approaches, they share some common principles. Both of these investment giants stress the importance of understanding the business you're investing in. It's not just about numbers on a screen, it's about knowing what the company does, how it makes money, and how it's positioned in the industry. However, how they apply this principle varies. Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, leans towards fundamentals. He looks for financially sound, undervalued companies with a competitive edge. He's the patient fisherman, waiting for the right catch. Lynch, on the other hand, takes a more personal approach. He's famous for investing in what he knows and uses in his everyday life. His philosophy? If you love a product, chances are others will too. It's a strategy that's more about intuition and personal experience than spreadsheets and annual reports. Despite their differences, both strategies have proven to be highly successful. Investing, as both Buffett and Lynch show, is not a one-size-fits-all strategy. It's a game of strategy, patience, and understanding. Take, for instance, Warren Buffett's long-term value investing approach. He believes in buying shares of companies he comprehends and sees value in, then holding on to them for the long haul. It's about buying a stock and owning a piece of the business, not just speculating on the price. On the other hand, we have Peter Lynch's invest in what you know philosophy. It's about investing in companies you are familiar with or have an understanding of. This is not just about the price of the stock, but the value of the company behind it. Both these strategies emphasize the importance of understanding the business you're investing in. It's not about quick profits, but sustainable growth. So, when you're making your next investment decision, remember these strategies. As Peter Lynch said, the key to making money in stocks is not to get scared out of them, 